Hi everyone, it's Kara with Change of Life Fitness and I wanted to take you through a practice with me for about 30 minutes where we focus on building the glutes, releasing them, increasing the, our flexibility there as well as building strength. So without further ado, let's get started with our yoga practice with focus on the glutes. Head over to your mat and have a seat. We're going to start in a simple cross-legged position where you can have one foot in front of the other tucked under the leg or you can have one foot on top, half lotus, and play with that half lotus. Try either side and see what suits you or you can stack one foot on top of one thigh and then the other foot on top of the other thigh and you're in lotus pose. If that doesn't really feel right or good for you, then one foot in front, or in front of the other or one foot on top. So I'm hoping you could see me well enough. We're going to close the eyes, take a nice breath in, lift the chin. And exhale, dropping the chin to the chest little by little. Inhale, lift your chin. Let the back of your head drop to the spine. Long exhale as you draw the chin to the chest, nice and slow. Breathe out. One more time. Inhale, lift the chin. You might even close your eyes. And exhale, drawing the chin to the chest, relaxing the back of the head and getting a nice stretch through the neck. Inhale to neutral and gently flutter your eyes open if they're closed. We're going to uncross the legs here. Extend the legs out in front and squeeze the thighs nice and straight and strong legs here. Press your heels away, draw the top of the feet towards you and take a nice breath in our toes are pointing up to the ceiling. We've reached the arms up. Exhale, reach the arms forward and relax the hands down, drawing your navel up and over your thighs. You can just relax your head and neck for a moment here. Squeeze the top of your thighs. Good, release your lower back, reaching a little further down the legs. Good. Keep the ribs lifted and the shoulders down and back. When you're ready, come on up. And we're going to cross the right leg under the body where the foot comes to the hip, opposite hip. So bend that knee and tuck the foot by your hip. Then we're going to take the left leg, we're going to cross it over the right leg, trying to plant the foot onto the ground. And that might not happen for you. It might want to just stay up because of the tension in the hips. So don't force it. You know, just play around with what's working for you. We do want to try and keep both sit bones on the mat. Good. And if you could touch the bottom of the foot, great. And if not, again, no worries there. So from here, we're going to go ahead and raise the left arm. Good. Exhale, bring it behind your back. Plant the palm of your hand close to your hip. Here's a profile view. Good. Inhale, that right arm comes up now, opposite arm up. As you exhale, twist to your left dropping that right elbow across the body and across the knee. Now, if you're not getting the elbow to touch the knee, you can always just wrap that right arm around your leg, that top leg, and hold on, look back. Good, straighten the back arm, relax that back shoulder down. Take another breath here. In your twist, good, and breathe out all the way. Big exhale, good. 
Now as you inhale, you're going to reach that right arm up. And exhale, we're going to counter pose. Drop that right hand behind your back. Good. Inhale, lift the left arm up this time. And as you exhale, turn to your right, taking the hand down against the top leg. Good. Take a few breaths here in your twist, pulling that right shoulder back towards the back of your mat. Good. Big exhale. Stay in the pose. Drop that right shoulder down away from your head as you twist a little deeper. Good. Inhale. Take that right arm up and face forward. And exhale, hands down. We're going to uncross the legs. And tuck the left leg now. So bend the knee, point the knee forward, and tuck that left foot over to your right hip. Now we take that right leg over the left, crossing the legs, trying to plant the sole of the right foot down on the ground, but again, not forcing it. Good. When you're ready, take a nice breath in. Reach your left arm up. Sorry, that's your right arm, excuse me. Exhale, right hand behind your back. Plant the hand close to you on the ground. If you need a block under your hand, you can use your block. Inhale. Let's take that left arm up now. And as we exhale, we're going to bend that elbow, turn to your right, and twist, taking the elbow across the top knee, or again, just reaching and grabbing around that knee and looking back. You can hold the knee with your hand, or you can use the elbow to press against the knee, at that time. Good. Keep looking back. Keep your neck relaxed. Don't force the neck too firm. Good. Keep that back shoulder down. Exhale all your air. Maybe twist a little deeper if that feels right for you. Good. We're going to inhale. Release that left arm up. Facing forward. Good. And exhale, take that arm down, left hand now behind your back. We're going to inhale the right arm up this time. Counter posing, exhale, take that hand to the front leg, pressing against it, helping yourself twist to your left. Good. Pull that left shoulder back to the back of your mat. Keep seated tall here. So try not to collapse the ribs. Keep the ribs lifted. Good. One more breath here. Fill your lungs, your throat, and then exhale deeply, maybe twisting a little deeper. Nice work. Breathe in, release that right arm up. And exhale, that hand comes down, releasing both your legs. Good. We're going to go ahead and lay on the back for a moment here. So roll back. Hug your knees into your chest. Good. And then simply cross your right leg over your left. Big cross, ankle over the knee. I'm showing you a side profile here. If I turn, all I've done, my knees were in. And then I take my right ankle and I cross it over my left thigh. Good. Relax your head and shoulders. Reach through your legs with your right hand and try to grab your left thigh. Or you can bend the knee and grab your left shin. So I'm reaching through my legs, that little figure four opening. Good. Grab the opposite hand, that left hand, and reach it around the legs, grabbing and clasping your fingers drawing the legs nearer to you. Try and maintain the shoulders relaxed on the ground and the head as well. No tension in the neck. In fact, you can turn your head side to side, checking in with your neck. Excellent. All right, let's release the hands and plant that left foot. Keep your legs crossed. Let your arms go out 
like an airplane on your mat and then drop your hips off to the left. Letting the knees fall to the side. Look over your right shoulder. Just getting a little hip opening twist here. Perfect, you guys. Draw your knees back to center and uncross the right leg. Let's lift up the left leg now and cross it over the right, drawing the right knee in at the same time. So the legs are near you. Go ahead and reach through your legs with your left hand. And you can grab your left thigh or you can grab your left shin, clasp your fingers and draw the right knee closer to you. Trying to relax the body here. Take a few breaths. Good, and then slowly release your hands and let your right foot plant onto your mat. Keep the legs as they are, left crossed over right. And then on your next exhale, drop your knees to the right Turn your head to face that left arm. And if you want, you can twist a little deeper or just stay here, getting a gentle hip opening. Keep your left shoulder rooted on the ground. One more breath, relax your face. And then slowly bring your hips back to neutral, uncrossing your legs. Excellent job, you guys. We're going to hug those knees in for a second. And then we're just going to rock back and rock forward. Let's inhale, roll back. Exhale, come up to a balance. So try not to put your feet down. Inhale, roll back. Let your legs go up a little. Exhale, forward. Let's do two more. Inhale, back. Exhale up, squeeze your core. Last one, inhale back. And exhale, hold those feet off the ground. Good. Now we're gonna hold those feet off the ground in our boat pose. Relax the shoulders and the neck. If you need to put your heels down on the ground, put your heels down, pull your toes up, keep active at the belly button, so squeeze that navel tight. Good. Now what we're gonna do here is straighten out the right leg, lower it down towards the mat, but don't touch the mat here. Good, and then pull it back up. Other side, straighten and lower, then lift. Straighten and lower, we're starting to alternate sides here. Straighten and lower, don't touch the ground. Lift, remember your heels can be on the ground. And lift, good. Straighten, we have one more time each side. Straighten one leg. And then lift back up, straighten the other, lift back up, and release. Just warming up that core. We're going to flip over. Hands are going to come into tabletop as well as the knees. So hands under shoulders, spread your fingers, knees are under the hips, and alignment there, 90 degree angle at the knees. So we're going to relax the elbows. We're going to stick the tailbone up as if we had a tail we want to wag and lift the chin, relaxing the spine into extension. Take a breath in, in cow. Try to pull your shoulder blades back towards each other and then press them down towards your hips. Good. On your exhale, start to round your lower back, pressing the front of your hips towards your arms, tuck your chin, spread your wings, round your middle back. Press the middle back up to the ceiling. Let the head drop. Straighten the arms. And here we are in cat. Holding cat pose for just a moment. Really stretch your shoulder blades apart here. Push your shoulders away from each other. Push into your mat. Pull your belly button up tight. Good. And then release. Oh, nice work, you guys. Okay, we're going to go ahead and come into downward facing dog. So you're going to curl your toes under, raise your hips up, and press your thighs back. 
maybe bend one knee at a time. If this is your first downward dog of the day, keep slightly bent knees and then rock your hips. Really, you can do any variation to find a little comfort in your downward facing dog. And then start to lengthen the legs, squeezing at the thighs, press the heels down. Good, squeeze your arms straight and strong and push yourself away from your hands, hanging your head nice and heavy. Good. Top of the head starts to face the ground once you relax the neck fully. On your next breath in, you're going to lift your right leg up into a three-legged dog. If you're feeling uncomfortable, modify by dropping the left knee. If you're feeling good here in three-legged, stay here. Either way, keep that right leg lifted. We're going to lift that leg even higher for 10 pulsing counts. Let's do it. 10, lift, 9, 8, 7, squeeze your glutes, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice work. Come down onto your knees. Take a nice breath in. Let your back arch. We're coming into cow. Relax your elbows. Shoulder blades draw back and down. Tail is up. Chin is up. Good. Exhale. Round your back. Tuck your chin. Straight arms press through the ground, bringing the chin to the chest and hips forward. Good. Inhale. Come back to neutral tabletop. Give me a straight spine. Exhale. Lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Right here. Drop the head. Hang the chest. Now, if again you feel uncomfortable here, right knee comes down. Either way, left leg rises. Take that left leg up into a three-legged dog. Let's pulse it as we breathe. Lift. Ten. Nine. Eight, keep your legs straight. Seven, six, five, press that right heel down. Three, two, one, and done. Nice work. We're going to walk our hands to our feet and bend the knees, hang the torso. Keeping your knees bent, you're going to look, look up. Just look straight ahead. Then release your arms, start to straighten your legs and rise up. Good. Activate your glutes by tucking your tail under, clenching your booty. Lift the ribs. Good. And exhale your hands to your heart in prayer fashion. So right here, we're in Samastihiti. So here we stand tall, we stand strong. Our upper body softens, yet the core and the lower body are still, they are isometrically tightening. So that means without movement, our muscles are active. They're not making us move. They're just tightening up and we're holding strong. So if I came over and tried to push you over, you really would not budge because that lower body is squeezed tight. Good. Press all your toes down into the mat. Good. On your next inhale, release your arms. Now shift on to your left leg and lift your right knee, right in front of the right hip. The foot is under the knee, start to balance. Good. As you exhale, I'm gonna turn sideways, stay as you are. You're gonna hinge forward, start to straighten out that right leg, reach it back into warrior three. Virabhadrasana three, good. Reach those arms forward or out to the side for more balance, hold. We're gonna pulse that leg up, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, just like before, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take the knee in front of the hip again, balance, good, and then release the knee and arms down. Let's try that on the other side. Again, inhale, here we're going to squeeze the legs, squeeze them together, reach the arms, relax your shoulders, exhale, hands to the heart center prayer fashion. Inhale, shift onto that left leg, lift the right knee. Good. When you're ready, release those arms. Good. I'm going to turn to the side again. You stay right where you are. 
Find something to look at that is not moving and shift into warrior three. Chest comes forward and down. Good, we're balancing on that right leg. We're gonna lift that left leg 10 times. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold to come up. Hinge the chest up, straight up, knee in front of the hip, foot under the knee, and release. Nice work, you guys. Come to the front of your mat. Let's get a little closer to you. Come to the front of your mat. Stand facing forward. Spread your toes. Coming back into Samastihiti, press all of your toes, the ball of the foot, the heel, the arch of the foot down, so everything is really grounding and rooting. And then lift up on your kneecaps by activating those thighs, tucking the tail under, squeezing at the navel, and then arms go soft as they inhale up. Shoulders drop down into the socket. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good, one more time, inhale. Upper body soft, lower body strong. Exhale, keep a strong core as you bow forward and then pull your belly in and hang your head, your hands, your heart. Forward fold. Good, take a breath in, bend your knees, plant your hands. And step or hop back into your high plank. Hold your plank. Hands are gonna be under the shoulders here. Squeeze your tail. Good. Make sure your hips are in line with your shoulders. So don't sag your hips down, nor lift them high. Right? Tuck your tail, squeeze that booty, lift your right leg. Option. Left knee can come down. Okay? Right leg is going up. Here we go. Straighten that leg. Lift it. Ten pulses. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, nice work. Hold strong, other side. Remember, you can drop the opposite knee, that right knee down, lift your left leg, squeeze. 10, nine, your eight, seven, six, rest of the body is nice and still. Four, three, two, one, nice work. Let's come down to child's pose. Sit your hips back, crawl your hands forward, crawl your hands apart and crawl your knees apart. Then push your hips back, Bring your toes, your big toes together. Point your feet so the tops of the feet are down. Hang your head, forehead to ground in a child pose variation. Good, come all the way forward. When you're ready, inhale yourself all the way to the ground. Bringing the hips down, straightening the legs, and drawing the legs together with pointed toes. Good. Exhale, arms at your side. Relax your arms, relax your shoulders. Let your back round so the front of the shoulders hang towards the mat. Good. Your chin comes to the center of the mat here. Good. When you're ready, we're going to lift the legs, keeping the heels touching. So really try to activate those heels towards each other, turning the toes out like a ballet position one. Okay, first position. Here we go. When you're ready, lift on your inhale, lift those legs, and we're gonna add the shoulders, pull them back. Gentle pull, we're not lifting as high as we can go in the upper body, just squeezing that lower body nice and tight, Keep the toes pointed and turned out. Heels together. Let's lift those legs. Ten counts. Ten, nine, higher. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep the hips down on the ground. Three, two, one. Good. Relax. Separate your feet. Relax the legs down on the ground. Let the shoulders rest. Good. Nice work, you guys. Extend your arms out in front of you. Long reach here. Opposite arm and leg here. We're gonna lift the right leg, lift the left arm at the same time, and we're gonna pulse there as well. So go ahead and bring your chin to center. On your next inhale, 
Right leg is straight, toes are pointed. Lift that leg, lift the left arm at the same time. Hold, exhale. Get ready to breathe and pulse. 10 counts, let's go. 10, pulse it higher. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, lower that leg down and switch sides. Lift your left leg, point the toes, keep the legs straight. Nice work. Try to keep both hips down on the ground so your hip bone is down, the leg is extended. Reach the right arm up. Good, let's breathe through it for 10 counts. Let's go. 10, lift higher. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower everything down. Oh, good work. Taking your hands next to your chest, bring your elbows to 90 degrees. So I've really tucked my hands back below my shoulders. I've pressed my palms down. Good. My elbows are gonna point to the ceiling. So make sure your elbows are next to your body, nice and tight. Don't let them splay away from you. Tuck them in towards you. Good. From here, we're just gonna roll the shoulders back. Really reach the top of the head forward and out of the hips for cobra. Good. Those of you who can, release the hands. If your lower back is compromised, keep your hands down, please. Good. And slowly release, nice work. Let's take a quick child's pose. Draw the knees together this time, and if that's uncomfortable, just separate them. Good, arms are gonna go around the body. So tuck your arms next to you, and see if you can hold your heels. And then draw the forehead closer to the knees for a moment, rounding your back. Counter posing, that spine extension. Good, round your shoulders. And then press your forehead down into your mat. Hmm. Just relax here with the breath. A calming breath in. And a relaxing breath out. Breathe out all the way. Good. On your next inhale, hands come next to your face and roll your shoulders back. Good. We're going to come onto hands and knees here. Again, in tabletop position. So the hands are under the shoulders, the knees are under the hips. And my back is nice and straight here. My abs are active. And I'm going to shift my weight onto my left knee. Keep weight through both hands and just lift the right knee. My right knee is still bent. I should have wore a different outfit. Then you can see my knee. Let's get a little closer to you again. So far away. So, so far. Okay. Hand under the shoulders. That right knee is lifted. Now, mindful of the weight between the hands, trying to keep it balanced. Weight into the left and the right hand equally. You can point your left toes, top of the foot down, or you can curl and it's really your choice. But that right knee is lifted, the knee is bent. Now, really important here, my lower back. So whenever we do these donkey-like kicks, People tend to arch their back and let the belly fall and sag. I want you to scoop that belly in. Don't let that belly move. Keep the lower back nice and straight as it is, and this may restrict your range of motion, extending that leg back. And it doesn't have to come up high at all. I'd rather see that nice straight spine, especially at your lower back. All right, here we go into 10 pulses. Flex the toes, spread your toes. And lift up that right leg a little more, keeping the back flat. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower that right knee down. Good. I gotta shake out my hands. My wrist hurts. And if your wrist hurts, you can do what I do. I make a fist. And then I just put my knuckles down, keeping my fist, and then letting my thumbs be extended out towards the front of the mat, pressing my thumb pads down. 
So keep the wrist nice and straight there from knuckle through to the shoulder. Shifting onto the right knee now, we're lifting that left knee. We're keeping it bent, 90 degree angle. And again, mindful of the navel being pulled in. We're really not letting the abs go here. We're just keeping them constricted the whole time in to that contracted isometric hold. Keep your head straight. Your focus should be ahead of your hands on the mat. So find a spot looking down to where you're looking ahead of the hands a bit. Back of the head is straight. Yes, I'm holding it here. I want you to hold here. And now we're going to do that pulse. So keep that core nice and tight. Lift the left for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice work. Drop the knee. Spreading the fingers if they're not yet. Curl the toes under and lift your hips downward facing dog. Drop your head. Hang your upper body and activate your lower body. Try to shift the weight into your legs. Pull that navel in. Good. That's it. Making that tiny, tiny little tummy at the lower core. Hang your head. Good. We're going to go through more of a flow now, doing a lot of those moves. So on your next inhale, again, modify. Left knee comes down. Take that right leg up. Lift it up higher. Exhale. 10, 9, 8, 7. Inhale. 6, 5, 4, 3. Exhale. 2, 1. And plant down. Other side. Inhale it up. Right knee can come down. Good. Exhale and lift. 10, 9, 8, 7. Inhale. 6, 5, 4, 3. Exhale. 2, 1. And take it down. Good, left knee can come down, inhale, right leg up, reach back, now exhale, pull it all the way through to the right thumb. Good, take a nice breath in, shift all your weight onto your right leg and walk your hands forward, exhale. We're going to come up into warrior three from here, so really you're going to be balancing Look at one spot that's not moving and reach those arms up. Try to straighten your spine parallel to your mat. Good. Lift that back leg up. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release the hands and feet. Forward fold. Feet come down. Either hip distance apart or together. Hang your back over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward first, then rise up with that breath. In. Remember to squeeze the body strong from the core to the feet. Exhale, hands to heart, soften your shoulders and neck. Nice work, you guys. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Keep the shoulders dropping into the socket, heavy to the hips. Exhale, keep your core strong, forward fold, and then release the head, pull the navel in, and hang. Inhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, step or hop back into your high plank. Good, exhale, hold. You can option, you can bring the elbows down under the shoulders, or option, just drop the knees. Just make sure you don't pull your knees up under the hips. Keep those knees back a little. That way your abs have to do the work here. That's your modification. Here's your full pose. Right leg rises. Inhale up. Pulse it. Exhale. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale. Plank position. Right leg falls. Exhale. Hold. Again, the right knee can be down now. Inhale, left leg rises, lift it. 10, 9, 8, 7, exhale, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. Take a breath in. And exhale, knees down, sit back, child pose. Inhale, come forward, come back into plank. Exhale, 
Keep your elbows at your side, chaturanga, just like we had our elbows by our body before. Inhale, drop your hips down, straight legs, point your toes, roll your shoulders back. Good, exhale, lift your hips, walk your feet forward just a little into downward facing dog. Nice work, you guys. Again, bring the right knee down if needed. So you can be here on your three-legged dog, right knee under right hip, okay? From down dog, take a nice breath in, left leg rises, keep the right heel down if the leg is straight. Exhale, lift, 10, 9, 8, 7, inhale, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, inhale, good, take it down. Take the breath out. Shifting to the right leg, lift it, inhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, exhale, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, inhale, right foot comes down, three-legged dog, nice work. Inhale, opposite side rises, good, and step it all the way forward to your left thumb. Now, if your foot doesn't make it all the way up, put your right knee down, Step the left foot up and then straighten that right leg. Walk your hands forward, take a breath in, shift onto your left leg here. Good, exhale, we're gonna balance. Squeeze that left leg straight, reach the arms out. We're gonna lift it all up here. Lift, let's go. 10, nine, breathe, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, excellent job. Forward fold, hang down. Good. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward, release the arms. Here's where we squeeze the legs together, thighs, glutes, core, and we exhale, softening the shoulders, neck, head, into prayer fashion. Hands. Good, so we're tight here at the glutes, we're tight at the tummy, we're tight at the thighs. Take a nice breath in, release those arms. Let the shoulders draw, palms facing each other with active fingers. Exhale, fold over your legs, hang your upper body. You can have a bend in your knees here if needed. Inhale, come halfway up. Now straighten your legs, straighten your spine and press your hands into your legs for support. You can also have your hands on the floor. Good, exhale, draw your belly in, nice and tight, and hang your head and chest. Again, knees could be bent here. Good, take a breath in, plant your hands, now bend your knees if they're not bent, and step your feet back into that high plank. Good, exhale, we're gonna come all the way down to the mat. Knees come down, chest, chin. Good work, you guys, arms at your sides. Take a nice breath in, lift your legs up, keep your heels together. Good, exhale, hold here. Good, now we're gonna lift and separate the legs. So we lift up, we separate, we pull them in, we lower. So get ready for that. Chin is centered on the mat, so chin is down, you're looking ahead of you on the ground. When you're ready, inhale, heels touching, lift those legs. Exhale out, in and down. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale out, in and down. Inhale, lift. Exhale out, in and down. Good, inhale, lift. Exhale out, in and down. Try to keep your chin down. Inhale, lift. Exhale out, in and down. Nice work, inhale, lift. Exhale, out, in and down, almost there. Inhale, lift, exhale, out, in and down. Beautiful, you guys, four more. Inhale, up, exhale, out, in and down. Last three, inhale, up, heels touching. Exhale, out, in and down. Last two, inhale, up, exhale, out, in and drop. Good, last one, inhale, lift, exhale out, in and 
and drop, nice work. Hands next to the chest, 90 degree angle. Good, exhale all your air, breathe out through your mouth, your nose. Inhale, roll your shoulders back into Cobra, Bhujangasana. Let's remember not to use the hands to press us up. We're just peeling our shoulders off the ground and pulling them back in towards each other here. Toes pointed. Good, when you're ready to exhale, push all the way up and bring your hips back into child's pose. Good, we're gonna inhale to neutral spine. And we have a little bit more time. No, we were at 40 minutes. Ooh, wasn't expecting that. Okay, let's go ahead and release the glutes. We'll do 45 minutes, because I lied about 30. What can you do? All right, from here, we're gonna reach that right leg out into three-legged dog. And then we're gonna walk the hands forward and bring the right knee down on the ground behind the right hand. Grab that right foot and pull it up as best as you can towards that left hand. Uncurl your left toes and walk the knee back. Good, so now we're in pigeon pose. And if this hurts, of course, you can lay on your back. We did this before. We just cross the right ankle over the left knee. Good, roll your shoulders back. Relax the back of your head, down the spine, releasing that left hip flexor. And then slowly lower yourself, taking your time, lifting your heart up and over your right shin. Bring your elbows down to your mat. Good. If this is enough for you, stay here. You can stack your fists, one on top of the other, and drop your forehead onto your hands to relax your head and neck here. You should feel comfortably uncomfortable in this position. Typically, it's an emotional center at the hips. We, we tend to feel certain ways in this pose, difficulty um, physically with tight hips, but it's just an expression of what we feel in other ways. So let's just let everything release. Give your body permission to let go and just kind of ease yourself into this discomfort. It should not be pain, and if it is, please lay on your back and cross your right ankle over your left knee, drawing the left knee in. Then we're gonna slowly come out of this here, walking the hands towards us, lifting the chest, and then releasing <clears throat> that front knee a bit. Curl the back toes under and straighten that back leg. We're gonna release that whole right leg and circle it out. If you wanna put that left knee down, you can. And now both knees come down. Inhale, that left leg rises up. And exhale, take it to the mat behind your left hand. Then grab that foot and pull it up. Pull it up towards your right hand. Good, now the back leg, we're gonna crawl the right knee back. Good, the hips start to lower. Uncurl the right toes and lift your chest. Good, big heart opener here. Drop your hips down, lift the chin, but keep the shoulders Hanging heavy. Good. When you're ready, if you're ready, come to those forearms, elbows down. Now, if this side is not working for you and the other side did, that is perfectly great. If this side is just causing you pain, lay on your back. Once again, cross your left ankle over your right thigh. And then draw the right knee in towards you. We're just doing pigeon pose either belly down or back down. Both are great to release and open the hips and glutes. Good. Remember, I want you to relax your forehead now. So you can stack your fists, release your forehead. Maybe you've noticed you only need one fist worth of space from the forehead to the ground. And then many of you who practice already know you can release your hands if your forehead meets the ground without causing pain and agony. Good, take one more breath, whether you're forward or on your back, and exhale all the way. Good, we're gonna slowly inhale, 
If you're on your back, uncross your legs. And if you're on your tummy, walk your hands towards you, lift your chest, lift your head. Good, we're gonna press into the hands if you're with me here. Curl the back toes under and lift the back knee. And if you're on your back, hug your knees to your chest, rocking side to side. We're gonna release that left leg out. Again, you could drop the right knee and just circle the hip. We constricted blood flow there, so we're just trying to get blood to go back into that hip. Good. Nice work, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and come onto our backs. <clears throat> just for a minute, bring yourself all the way down. Lay with your legs apart, your arms apart, straight long limbs, and hang your back of your head very heavy into the mat. So try not to lift anything off the ground. Try to keep your fingers, your toes relaxed. Maybe close your eyes or keep them half lidded. And just rest your face. Take one more breath here. And then hug your knees in once more. And plant your feet, roll onto your side. So rock those knees to one side. Use your arm as a pillow for your head to rest. And then push yourself up into seated. Cross-legged, I always go that way. Let's go this way. Hands to the heart, bow your chin to your chest. Good, I'm gonna bow to honor you and your practice. All the light that I shine, I wanted to unite with yours and all the world. Thank you guys for practicing a little with me. Namaste. See you next time.